Therefore, if any man, any man, I'm so glad that God is no respecter of persons. I'm so glad that God doesn't choose us on the basis of anything that we can do or who we are. But the, the, the plan of salvation, the offer of eternal life is open to all people everywhere. And the instant that, that the sinner believes or trusts Christ, God does a great miracle. You begin a new life in Christ, free from Satan's authority, free from the fear of the future. Many people are afraid of what's going to happen. Listen, when we have Jesus, we know we're safe in his hands. And the Bible does say that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. And so we, we, and I, we can't go wrong, basically, when we have Jesus as our Lord and Savior. I like this. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly lean on Jesus' name. On Christ the solid rock I stand. All other ground is sinking sand. Salvation is such a great miracle. The moment that the sinner trusts Christ as Lord, God forgives all sin. A-L-L, -L, all sin. I want you to see what God has done to make this matter of forgiveness possible. Now think with me a moment about God who is the creator and owner and Lord of everything. Psalm 24 says, The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. For he hath founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. This world belongs to God. And God's created people who live on God's earth have broken God's law. God says, Thou shalt not steal, and people take that which does not belong to them. God has given man a list of do's and don'ts, as it were, the commandments. The Ten Commandments sum up God's law, and invariably every person breaks the law of God. And the Bible says, Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is a transgression or the violation of the law. And as I said, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And man cannot in any way cleanse himself. Listen to, listen to Hebrews chapter 9, verse 22. And almost all things are by the law purged with blood. And without shedding of blood is no remission. In God's plan, pure sinless blood is the only thing that can cleanse sin. And the only person who has that kind of blood is God the Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, you see. And he willingly went to the cross to shed his precious blood for us. And then he victoriously rose from the dead. 